-huh. Igual ese de Daniel, pero la tengo mal. No solo me pasó igual. It's the same. Eh, el de Middle Exam, creo que mañana o. Oh. Mm. Bueno, ya me falta la teacher. Sí. Yo he llegado hasta la tarea 4. The homework five, it's so easy. It's, it's a, es a, un repaso. No encuentro cómo es. Ahí lo decía. La tarea 5. Ajá, es un repaso. Uh -huh. Y me cerró. Ajá, es como un repaso de las cuatro. Mm, sí. Ahorita lo review. no voy a hacer. It's mm. a review en práctica. Ajá, acaba. Uh -huh. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Almost. Hi, how are you? It's, it's too cold here. <laughs> it's cold here as well. Yeah, sounds cold. <laughs> um, oh. But we are here, right? <laughs> but it's cold, yes. Yeah. So, oh my God, I thought I was I was gonna be the only one using a jacket, <laughs> even though we're at home. But yes, I feel so cold today. But nice to see you guys. I hope that you had an amazing day. Done a, well, an amazing Father's Day, and I hope uh, that you enjoyed your weekend it was a long weekend right yes <laughs> did you enjoy <laughs> it fast yes. so fast yes it, it was so fast yes uh but finally we're here i'm sorry because i know you're having issues with the homework assignments some of you have uh, um some of you has reported some issues, right, in the platform. Uh, we will see them together, all right, today. Don't worry. In order to get like a kind of, um, let's say, like a kind of review about all the, all the exercises that are not good. I mean, not, not correct, right? Even though they should be correct, it is marking you as as incorrect so it shouldn't be like that so that's why we will check them today together don't worry um so let's see stephanie is here hello hello christian hi luis hi uh, fatima hello maggie um who else Lisette hello hello Kenny hello Marcos Amilcar hi Marielos hi Jaime hello Julio thank you General. good evening everyone good evening hello Sabrina hi Ezekiel hi Marina hi teacher hello teacher hello I hope you're doing awesome, okay? Um, Osvin is joining right now. He's trying to connect his audio, but welcome to the class, Osvin. Okay, so I believe we will start today's class. Let's see. We are 15, I mean, we are 16 actually together. Um, I'm trying to open up uh, the material, the book, and everything. So we will start right away. And also the attendance list that is going to be uh, passed in half an hour, I believe. So now I was listening 
you were speaking about the exercises. Thank you for, for worrying about this. I wanted to, to let you know that um, we have to complete uh, the for today. Um, for tonight, the exercise number five, we have to complete, to have completed exercise one, two, I mean, homework number one, two, three, four, and five, right? That's it. And the midterm exam evening, is going to be, good evening. And the midterm exam will be until next, next, um, next Monday, next Monday. Okay, next Monday, that will be on the 27th, don't worry. It's in the middle of the course. That is why it's called midterm exam. And today we will deliver just five homework assignments, okay? Uh, from each unit or from each class before midnight. And um, we will wait until everyone is here. So we will discuss about the activities, all right? About the what is it wrong and all of this. We will wait until everyone is connected. Um, Daniel, hello, welcome. Hello, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Now, all all Spain is still have is still struggling with the audio. I can see that. Um. Let's see. Yes. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, guys. Let me get a second. Just one moment. I can see I got some uh, messages here uh, that I need to resolve about the class. So let me get a second. One moment, guys, sorry. Let me check the list. Okay, let's see who else has issues right now. Thank you guys for helping me. Oh my God, my my um camera, sorry. Okay, no worries. Um, Osvin, do you hear us right now? Are you okay with the audio? No. Um, try to, try to go ahead and, oh yes, it's working now. I believe it's working. Hello. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, right. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for trying. Okay, guys. So let's see. Sorry. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, I believe we're ready. 
So let me um, start sharing this screen. Here we go. Okay, so um, today we will have a review and practice about the whole units, okay? The unit number one. And this is the class number five. Uh, today is our Friday. <laughs> Even though it's Monday, but it is our Friday because we deliver all the um, homework assignments and because it is the end of the week of the week right <laughs> but uh, this is the second week i know um but yes this is the class number five and before is that before starting well no actually we will start right now because I, I believe we don't have any review at the end this is a review class right a practice and review class so we will start with the review um, do me a favor, guys, and go to the page 15 and 16, all right? 15 and 16. Let's see. Uh, we will go with the speaking and writing exercise there on this page. Let me get a second. So I will be opening the manual. So we will start. And as I mentioned, once more people is joined or connected to the class, we will discuss about the exercises, guys. Do not worry. Um, and we will try to make sure that we will have them for today. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Um, guys, I don't know if you remember the last class, we were talking about, you know, time expressions. And also we were talking about more vocabulary for you to use whenever you have been asked, uh, what is your educational background? What is your work experience? So we know how to handle or how to answer those questions, all right? Which is very important. Now you know what to answer in case tomorrow you have an interview. If tomorrow you have an interview and you are asked, hey, what is your uh, work experience? You know what to answer because you already investigate, you already bring all the ideas, everything regarding your background. So now you know how to answer that. Besides this, you know um, how to express the different um, the different college degree levels. I don't know if you remember the different college degree level. All right, so you know already exactly. I mean, you know, you know already how to identify this. All right, how to say this? We haven't practiced yet. I wish that we have uh, a space today for us to practice that about your educational background. And actually right now we will have this, so you put it in practice. But uh, we were speaking about time expressions and the time expressions that we were speaking about was were for plus a period of time since plus a specific points in the past from then, from to, sorry, that's together then and until, all right? So I remember we read about Nicole's work experience and we fill in the blanks. Do you remember we did this? So now um, we will go ahead and talk about your work experience, all right? 
work experience by creating a story similar to the one in the exercise number five. Now is a, a story. Let's create a story about your background, about your work experience, okay? Since I know it is um, easier for you because you already talked about your work experience, we will discuss about this, okay? We will not prepare it. We will go ahead and um, just improvise, okay? We will improvise. Previously, you prepared the answer. Now we will have, we will create a story, okay? Similar to this exercise. For example, for beginning, um, let's see, from your name, okay, you can say, okay, I was born in, in 1985, I graduated from the very beginning, and then you go for, in the, in, I mean, you go to the first university you studied, or the first institution, or maybe one school that actually helped you to grow right, as a professional. And then you continue with the different type of, um, different type of positions or the different jobs that you have been gotten through all the experience, okay? So let me confirm this. I believe Ezekiel raised your hand. Daniel, Daniel Ezekiel or Daniel Kimidis? Ezekiel. Ezekiel, go. You 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 was about to ask a, a question. Yes, este. Mm, una pregunta con respecto cuando dices when I grew up, eh, it's ser, eh, es válido decir con eh, hablando de una época sería since. Since exactly. Since, mm -hmm. Sorry, since. Since. Uh, since in the. 19s since night since the 90s uh-huh since the 90s okay. that would be uh-huh that would be a great answer since Hablando de 1990 uh-huh uh -huh. since 1990 since the 90s since my childhood and a specific point in the past yes oh uh that's my question. Thank you. All right, in a specific time in the past, exactly. You're welcome, Ezekiel. So, just to reconfirm again, guys, uh, vamos a crear una historia, pero esa historia va a ser improvisada. ¿Por qué? Porque ya hemos practicado esto, ustedes ya saben qué contestar, pero vamos a improvisar una historia en la cual obviamente usted se va a presentar y va a decir dónde nació, en qué año, y va a empezar con sus estudios. Vamos a empezar desde sus estudios más importantes, los que más se destacan en su currículo, los que ustedes creen que importa, ¿verdad? Está con un curso de marketing, Excel, algo que le va a ayudar a su background, ¿verdad? Um, educational background. Y luego lo vamos a unir con el trabajo, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a poner en práctica las dos, eh, las dos áreas que estábamos trabajando, que es eh, work experience más educational background, ¿sí? Entonces, usted trate de unir eh, creando una historia, ¿verdad? En el cual usted diga, se presente... Y luego diga lo más importante, como cuando ustedes le dicen, tell me about yourself. ¿Se acuerdan de esa, de esa pregunta? Dígame acerca de usted. Usted sabe que en esa, usted, en esa respuesta usted se va a lucir y usted va a decir lo que más se destaca en el área profesional suya. ¿Verdad? En lo que usted ha estudiado, en donde ha trabajado. Si bien es cierto, dependiendo de dónde usted está aplicando, Muchas veces es bueno decir cierta parte eh, como personal, ¿verdad? Pero lo más importante cuando me, le dicen tell me about yourself, usted sabe que es el área profesional y donde estudió, ¿verdad? Qué experiencia tiene en su trabajo. Entonces vamos a unir estas dos para contestarlo, ¿sí? Eh, 
vamos a hacerlo así, pero vamos a hacer una historia y esa historia, tal vez si usted quiere ahorita una como, eh, haga como una, como un outline, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, haga como un outline donde usted ponga, eh, ando buscando una palabra, pero believe it or not, I don't remember in Spanish, either in English, <ríe> pero sí, cronológicamente. Here I have it. Cronológicamente usted diga su experiencia laboral y, y su um, educational background. Y obviamente se presente, ¿verdad? Entonces, un texto, una historia de quién es usted, ¿sí? En esas dos áreas. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Improvisado, como le digo. Trate de hacer unos puntitos ahorita de qué es lo más importante que va a decir. Le voy a dar five minutes y luego... Vamos a pasar los breaker rooms y no vamos a hacer un interview um, completo. Todavía no. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a trabajar en esta pregunta. Yo creo que esta pregunta más es como tell me about yourself. ¿Sí? No sé si se recuerdan. Tell me about yourself. Dígame acerca de usted. Pero eh, presentándose usted y uniendo estas dos áreas, ¿verdad? Education and work. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos a tratar de improvisar ahorita. Vamos a suponer que tenemos una interview en English. ¿Y qué tal que de repente ya en el trabajo? Oh, Ezekiel, yo sé que estás estudiando inglés. Tengo una posición para ti. Miramos qué tal te va. Eh, ¿Tienes una interview en inglés ahorita? Vamos a ver. <ríe> Solo le dan que cinco minutos, Ezekiel. Five minutes to get ready. Y usted la está la que está, está like, oh my God. Pero ok, ¿cómo, cómo lo haríamos? Ya con, con esto que hemos estudiado estas semanas, con este vocabulario, yo sé que es un poco, oh my God. Usted se friquea, pero ok, ensayemos. ¿Sí? Ese es el propósito. Practice, practice, guys. So, let's try to practice solamente esa pregunta, no una interview completa, solamente esa. Básicamente, uno de ustedes, si yo estoy con Daniel, yo le voy a decir a Daniel. Ok, Daniel, tell me about yourself. Y Daniel me va a contestar. Ok. Luego, once we finish, Daniel me va a preguntar. Teacher, tell me about yourself. And I will answer him. <coughs> And that's it. We finish the interaction and you come back to the, to the breakout room. Ok? Se regresa. Yo no le voy a preguntar. <ríe> no se preocupe. Mi intención es que usted practique. That's it. All right? Um, so we will have five minutes to do it right now. Five minutes. Ok? Five minutes to do it. And at the end, guys, of this class, vamos a hacer una interview completa. Ok? Así que pues, let's go ahead and work on it. Five minutes. Questions, guys? Questions about what we're going to be doing? Hello, Marcos Antonio. No questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Tell me. Yeah, me. Okay, uh, you are talking about interview. So uh, I am saying now that in the screen, one example. We have to make the, the answer about similar like that, or we, we can make um, the answer about uh, any, any, any topic. Very good question, Jonathan. Um, no, we will go ahead and make the example similar to this. We're going to just cover three things. The number one is an introduction about yourself, which is um, the place where you was born. Um, where did you born, maybe? Where did you get it graduated from? And then yeah. um, let's get the educational background. Where did you study? All right, the courses that you have been studying, the universities, etc. I don't know if you remember about the different college degree level that we practiced last time. If you have okay. any of these college degree levels, put it there. Okay? 
And yeah, but uh, the third part, yes, go. Yeah. No, uh, uh, I mean that uh, example, but I am saying that there are some specific words in the in the picture. For example, uh, bear, and after that, uh, seven gear. Uh, in the in the last class, I I done um, I I I did, I didn't work and. I don't know what is the topic really, really, really. So is it is my answer right now? Oh, okay, okay. Well, just to finish with the answer that I was giving you, then the third area that you're gonna be speaking about, it's about your work ex, uh, work experience. Okay. Yeah, Basically, Jonathan, true. you will answer in the question, tell me about yourself. That you know yeah. that you need to mention about work experience, educational background, and about yourself. But this is going to be improvised. <laughs> we oh, will okay. try okay. to make an outline. Okay. Trata de ser como una, oh my God, timeline también. Como una, este, um, I just forget oh. this word, but okay. Eh, como un, la, marcar las ideas ahorita, ok, ah, ok, yeah. voy a empezar como que diciendo esto de mí, luego okay. voy a empezar que estudié acá, que es muy importante, y luego estas experiencias laborales, and that's it, ah, okay. para que el momento okay. cuando usted se vaya con la pareja, usted nada más lo, lo, lo diga, no okay, lo escriba, okay. pero que lo diga, porque es improvise, and sorry yeah, Jonathan, yeah. Um, but we were talking about time expressions. I don't know if you remember about the class. I don't know if you were in the class, but time expressions are the following. For plus period of time, since plus in a specific points yeah, in the okay. past, from yeah, okay. then and until. This exercise is just an example, all right? But we completed last class. No, but, but I don't, but I mean, uh, when, when I see the, the specific, specific word, I can, I can make the idea. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. You're welcome. If you have any other question, let me know, Jonathan. Teacher, thank no, 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 written. no, 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 Exactly. Let's try to make the ideas. Like if to like if right now, Marcos, your boss came in and say, Marcos, I know you're learning English and we have posi we have a position for you. I know that you haven't finished your course, but let's try. Maybe you get the position. Let's get an interview in five minutes. Are you ready? Let's try, Marcos. Let's try to get a job, to get a position, okay? So, así va a ser, como que viniera su jefe y le diga, Marcos, en cinco minutos están reclutando para una, para una posición ahorita en el que se requiere, ¿qué? 80% of English, 80%, let's see. So, yo sé que usted está estudiando inglés, trate a ver si queda. Usted tiene muchas cualidades. Entonces, en cinco minutos, usted va a tener esta interview, pero solo tiene cinco minutos. Ok, ahorita, vamos a hablar de esto, esto y esto. Pero al momento, usted lo va a decir en inglés. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. ¿Alright? ¿Any other questions so far, guys? No questions? Ready? Not ready? At the end of the class, we will have an, uh, we will make an interview, okay? A uh, complete interview. Si necesitan vocabulario, me lo dejan saber. Si necesitan los nombres de los degrees, um, degree levels, se los puedo mandar como un documento ahorita o una captura de pantalla, I don't know. ¿Lo necesitan, no? No. Me avisa. You let me know, okay? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, okay. Let, let me see. Se lo voy a mandar como una... Sorry that I will stop sharing. Se lo voy a mandar como un documento. No sé si está bien. Eh, sí, así mejor. Okay. 
así lo tienen ustedes, guys. Es información. I really like it. I really love it. And it is not an easy information to get it, guys. Es una información que, no sé, I believe is como medio rebuscada a veces. Y cuesta encontrar como la información que es. Como que, ok, ustedes de internet pueden encontrar muchas cosas, ¿sabes? Right? Eh, unas ciertas, unas medio ciertas y unas que nada que ver. Entonces, la fuente es súper buena. Así que, that's what I'm telling you. Ahorita se los paso, guys. I'm just looking at Oh, here I have it. Ok, guys, ahí se lo pasé. Cualquier cosa me dice. Guys, besides Maggie, is there anyone that is a listener today? Porque quiero empezar a hacer las pairs. ¿Alguien que está de listener? No, eh? Who are going to do to know if I am a listener? Um, I mean, my question is referring because sometimes you're driving or some, sometimes you are um, okay. like you, you, are, you need to be in classes, but you are in the middle of the traffic, and, but you need to be connected. And you told me, teacher, I'm a listener because right now I cannot participate because I am in the middle of the traffic, etc. Let's see. Uh, okay. uh -huh. okay. uh, my question is because uh, yesterday I checked my... Let me see. Profile? Yes, my in profile. The but, yes. And in I I looked at this uh I am a listener in I don't know what what's day, but uh, I don't know why I never be uh, like a listener. I know it. Um yes, as far as I know you haven't been a listener, like but I don't really know why it happened here. What did you see? Send me the picture or the screenshot or what did you see exactly? Okay, I I I, I will check now again my phone and, and let me know. Send it okay. to me just to verify okay. if it is what is going on, right? <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, I'm making the pairs right now, guys. Estoy haciendo las parejitas. Um, so, recuérdense, traten ustedes de, de pensar que es real, right? Para que usted practique, pero um, just practice, guys. That's my purpose, ok? Practique, que usted practique, tenga el espacio para practicar. Hello, Maville, how are you? No sé si nos alcanzó a escuchar de la actividad que estamos Good haciendo. Evening, Good evening. No, no, I can't. No. Okay, um, don't worry, Mabel. Right now, we're going to make pairs, okay? 
to discuss about the question, tell me about yourself. Let's see that right now your boss came and tell you, you know what, Mabel, I know you're studying English. And because you're studying English, um, I would like to take you into account in one position. But you need to have an interview right now. But this interview, Mabel, is not going to be completed. It's just to practice the, the question, tell me about yourself. But you know, Mabel, that in that question is very important to mention. I mean, to introduce yourself a little bit and then to mention about your educational background and about your work experience. That's it. All right. So we will practice what you have learned through this week, vocabulary, etc. And that will be improvised. They got already the five minutes to get prepared. All right. I'm sorry that because of the time, we will go ahead and make the pairs right now and you will practice with your classmate. Just the question and that's it. You ask the question to the other person and you will respond the question. Okay? Okay, teacher. Great. Thank you, Mabel. Okay. So, guys, I will join you to the breaker rooms, okay, right now. Whenever you're ready, click on join, guys. Uh, right now I'm joining one by one. Oh, go, go, Jaime. Don't worry. It's fine, Jaime. You, You're welcome. Let's see. Marcos Antonio Melgar, Luis Ernesto Gómez, um, Daniel Janet, ¿todo bien? No le aparece la opción. Ah, sorry, no, usted no la, no la ha unido todavía, sorry. No, ok, let me join you right now. Ok, great. The period of the time. Ah, ok. No te, des, no te des impreso el el, post, el, el, libro, el, el, el folleto. El folleto, no, no. no. Eso? Ajá. No, no sí. pero si lo, si lo puedo ver acá. Lo puede, ah, ok, lo puedes ver. Entonces, utiliza eso o Ajá, hablar usted. acerca de. de... Uh -huh. Ok. The, the signs, sí, todo pero lo... si, Sí, 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 sí. Por ejemplo, yo te puedo decir acerca de mí un poquito de, de about, okay. about meditation. 
I go say it. Okay, the way I decía ahorita. A ver, I introduce myself. Okay. Okay. My name is Daniel Florentino. Um, eh, I I would talk about my work experience. Um, but no, it's about the education first. It's in education primero. Okay. Eh, I I guess my my technical diploma. I get my technical diploma. At it, uh, my degree is uh, pattern designer. Uh, my my high school was uh, Oxford Institute. Uh, my degree. What do you say? Uh, I I studied my how do you say bachelor in English? I forgot. Uh, high school. High school. High school. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank teacher. you, teacher. You're welcome, uh, girl. In at uh, Damian Via Corta in San Tecla too. Uh, I. Um, my first job was in RAF. Where? I, RAF. I, Rosales Amplifoto. Um, in the, where? Say, in, como sería, permita. In the, in the ITCA, uh, signed in. Uh, I have body, and and this time I I learn I learn a little a little more. Uh, I think that my English uh, like uh, before of the of, of the pandemic. When I, I received class in the past. Mm, about your work? Um, okay. Um, uh, you are a counting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you are uh, sorry. Um, and what is your work experience in your company? Uh, Experience is for 18 years. 18 years, okay. okay. okay my work experience is um, four years in the school of lingua. This is what I, I, um, I teach Spanish language. And um, I am sponsored for to four grades this year. And we we are ending the, the school year in for in El Salvador, Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. And in yes. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, my finished college degree um, because I I don't ever finish now. So um, my experience about work is uh, in 
when I have to travel to another uh, country, I have to make a, a big decisions. And I work for maintenance. Maintenance, uh, yes. So in this day, I I'm in help desk, customer service, and to to serve to other to the my clients is in a company inter clients. Hope hope that say that. <laughs> No sé cómo decir clientes internos. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? <ríe> no sé si está... Hello, hello. Hola. Sorry. ¿Cómo? Clientes internos, dice el compañero. Um, internal sería? customers. Interna ah. uh -huh. internal yes, I, I, have, I have internal customers in, in a company. So... It's a uh, have a great experience in that five years. Uh, I know how to, este, como, so como tratar a las personas. And I have a uh, really customer service to come to. Oh, help. sorry to interrupt you, Ezekiel. I have the perfect job, the perfect work for you. Uh, yes. You can say I am a people skill. You, I, I am a people skill. I am a people skill. People skill, exactly. I am a people skill is whenever you treat. Um, I have people skill. Sorry, I have people skill. Is whenever you have abilities treating first people. You have abilities mm -hmm. treating people. You say I have people skill. Oh, interesante. No, What is uh, skill? Um, ¿Como habilidad con las personas? People skill? Sí, la idea es como saber llevarlos. <ríe> saber cómo llevarlos. Hacer feliz al cliente. <ríe> sea ajá. interno. That would be like, ajá, exactly, like being a person that has people skills. Um, Let me get a second because I'm trying to check if it is I am people skill or I have people skill. I'm not sure. I believe it is I am, como le había dicho. Pero me confundió mucho. That's what I, I don't like trans, trans, um, translators because it made me feel confused whenever you know what is exactly. Um, Let me go ahead and tell you, okay? If later on, if it yes. is I am people skill or I have people skill, I'm not pretty sure. I believe it's I am, but let me verify, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Is I have people skill? I have people skill, okay? As yes, I have people skill. Let me. Skills. Put... Skill. Ahorita se lo voy a mandar. I have eso significa skills. que usted es bueno lidiando, lidiando con personas. I am good at dealing with people, ¿verdad? Se lo voy a mandar acá para que lo tenga. Vaya, en el chat se lo mandé. Today is one of these days that skill is to... Uh -huh. uh, Ajá. <laughs> ok. Es bastante sí. bueno. Hoy fue un buen día. Hoy es lunes. Right. Hoy todo es un caso. Monday, exactly. Uh, Hans, I said, you need any other question, guys? I will be here. Uh, okay, thank you. So my regards uh, about me. Um, okay, about me. Qué suerte, um, carita que viene la teacher. Ay, no, teacher. Okay. You are a lucky man. You are a lucky Why? man. Why? <laughs> I'm just helping you, Marco. Don't be teacher, like that. Teacher, start again, uh, Sabrina. After start again, Luis. And finally, I, I, I talk You're about the last me. One. That's <laughs> good. That's good, guys. No. <laughs> Let's continue, guys. Pretend <laughs> that I am not here, okay? 
Go ahead, like a man. Exactly. <laughs> like a man. <laughs> Ay, ano na pelikula? I watched a movie. <laughs> oh my God, my camera. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Amo na hantas. Yeah. Again. <laughs> my information is too short. Oh, no, no, no. No, I mean Marcos. <laughs> With Marcos. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> you can do it, Marcos. I know you okay. can. Okay, okay, teacher. Um, hello, my name is Marcos Melgar. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Um, I am, I am, I am, I am 41, 41 years old. Um, this is introduced um, um, in, in 1000, no, 1990. I, I don't know. In the 90s or in 1990? Um, in 1990, um, I start to work in the dispensary of one from 2002. Uh, uh, I, wo I work and um, study, uh, trabajaba y estudiaba. Uh, after some one uh, years, uh, I studied, I studied in, in Utec University, uh, I study in, in general industry, in, in general, <laughs> ingeniería industrial of El Salvador. Yo dije que estaba hablando al indígena. Industrial engineer. Industry. Industrial engineer. Industry. Industrial engineer. Mm -hmm. I love alienígena teacher. I, I believe extraterrestre. Marcos, <laughs> focus, focus. You're doing excellent. Focus. Okay. Um, in, in, in the actuality, I study English. Um, currently? In English currently? <clears throat> Sorry oh, that I interrupt you. Currently. Actualmente. Actual. Currently. Ah. Is not actually. No, uh, currently. Actualmente is currently, exactly. Uh, currently. Currently. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Currently. Actually, actually uh, es realmente. <laughs> ah, entonces es mm -hmm. currently. Currently, sí. Okay. Es una palabra que Current, se confunde. Cur uh -huh. Currently, I, I, I cannot study in university because falta de money <laughs> because of la because of lack of money lack of money ahorita se lo mando lack, okay lack of money and and i study english in inglés corporativo <laughs> i am studying uh, i am studying english i am, I am studying, studying english, english. I am studying English, English corporativo. And I currently, I work in soluciones, a publisher. As a publisher? Soluciones publisher. Ah, so, oh, so, okay, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I can, I can fix computer after I can uh, use the uh, office, uh, Word, Excel. Um, I can fix uh, printer machines. I printer banners um, and other and other officially in in my place i currently i work a cashier in a cashier generally or general a cashier i, I work as a cashier 
I work, I work as a cashier. I work a cashier. As a cashier, Colombia. como un cajero. As, como, como un, ca as como a cashier. Como cajero general. As a general cashier. General a cashier. The boss um, of cashier. Yeah. Um, and finally, I, I love work in soluciones. I like. Wow. Oh. Marcos. Guys, a round of applause for Marcos. Teacher. Marcos, I'm so proud of you. You did it awesome. Mire, me gustó mucho cómo ordenó las palabras cronológicamente y cómo le dio un orden. Primero habló de usted, después fue a sus estudios, su um, work experience y de último hizo una conclusión. Yeah. Marcos, I love your yes, I love it. Solamente son palabritas que le he estado corrigiendo, pero other than that, yeah. I really love it. Great job. Oh, okay, teacher. Perfeccione lo más. Sí, perfeccione lo más y, y you're oh. done. Métale más cosas. Currently, ah, okay. trate de decirlo una vez Currently. y ahí utiliza como actualmente y dice todo lo que está diciendo, lo que está haciendo actualmente. But other okay. than that, you're doing awesome. I'm pretty sure that you will get the job. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank Los you. otros que no les escuché, guys, sé que lo hicieron Quiero bien también, lo pero... Lo <laughs> no, I need to go, sorry. <laughs> ya vengo, ya regreso, okay? Ustedes hagan lo que de repente voy a aparecer acá. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. A Luis hubiera escuchado si es que sacó todo el repertorio. Ay, Dios. <risa> no, lo mío fue muy corto. Very short. No. It's, it's longer. Ok, continue. It's very continue, short. Continue, Sabrina. Continue. Hi, teacher. Hello guys, did you finish? Yes. Okay, uh, we will go back to the main burn, okay? Ah, uh, sí, you no me apareció la, la notificación, no me apareció, generalmente me aparece. Ah, okay. We will go back, back right now, okay? Thank you. Thank you guys. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Hello, teacher. Hello. How was, how was your interview, guys? Good. Good? How did you feel? How did you feel? I feel a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. Yes. What I else? feel I feel sorry. I feel sorry. Ah, no. <laughs> I feel oh sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, like you was a, oh, I need to prepare myself. <laughs> you do this, right? Just in Braves, oh, me tengo que preparar, digo, así. Cuando me agarran de improviso. But uh, good job, guys. Um, I got some pieces of advices for you. Guys, um, I know that you're experiencing a, a new language, okay? But try to try to go ahead and 
in in same uh, um, this like in order, okay, and uh, chronologic order as well, okay. Try to try to order the ideas. If you're gonna be talking about yourself at the beginning, let's do it. And then just about your educational background and then just about your work experience. And then at the end, make a conclusion. And and, and then you close the idea. Teacher, my, my, my idea, um, I don't have a idea, um, but um, you say you say me and my my idea my idea fly 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 <laughs> I, I got your know. point i got your point julio the best the best that you can do is to prepare yourself like if you want to write it down write it down um let's practice let's uh try to if you want memorize it by heart if you want it to if you wanted me to check it out the paragraph I can do it. And then you memorize it, practice it until you do it. Okay? Practice, I try, practice. I try, I try. I got, I got, I got, I haven't I got, received I it. I haven't received the paragraph. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, pero lo que les digo es lo siguiente, guys. Si ustedes quieren hacer un párrafo ya pues fuera, okay, de, de esa actividad, fuera de la clase, y ustedes dicen, no, yo me quiero preparar para un nervio, sí, ¿qué tal que de verdad me salgan con eso? Y quieren que yo se lo revise, yo con gusto, mándame, me dice, teacher, mire, revíseme este párrafo, yo lo quiero decir para esta respuesta. I can do this, ok, pero sí, um, ya yeah, to sum up, para finalizar, guys, mi recomendación es que usted lo diga siempre en orden, que las ideas en orden, que ¿okay? usted va a decir acerca de usted como una introducción, después hable de su educación, cronológicamente empezando si le quiere mencionar el bachillerato el curso terminando con una universidad con un máster con un degree etcétera y luego ya empieza usted cronológicamente cuál fue su primera experiencia de trabajo la segunda tercera la última que está haciendo ahorita me gustó mucho y lo digo eh, aquí públicamente de verdad me gustó mucho una interview que escuché y fue la de Marcos Antonio todas me, me, me encantaron pero quiero poner a Marcos Antonio de verdad como un ejemplo. Guys, lo hizo súper bien. Él sabe que es, eh, 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 a veces dice él, ay, teacher, no puedo, ay, que me cuesta. ¿Y saben por qué lo pongo de ejemplo? Porque de verdad, eh, a veces él me dice, teacher, es que mire, que no sé qué. Y, y de repente se me ha desmotivado. Y me ha dicho, teacher, que, y yo le digo, Marcos, siga, Marcos, you can do it. Y, y de verdad me siento muy orgullosa de, de, de él porque yo sé que se ha esforzado y me gustó cómo lo planteó. Yo quisiera que lo dijera él, pero me va a decir, no, teacher. <ríe> Because of the time, no lo voy a hacer, pero fíjense que empezó así. De último dijo, finally, dijo así, I love what I am doing, or I love working in, in, in soluciones, dijo así, algo así. Pero sí lo dijo, su, se le vio bien, se le escuchó bien bonito. Obviamente los errores, guys, como pronunciación, alguna otra palabra siempre va a existir, pero para eso es que lo vamos a perfeccionar, ¿ok? Así que pues, felicidades a todos, los escuché y la verdad es que me gustó mucho la manera como se expresan, con menos miedo, guys, así que pues traten de seguir así, ¿ok? A round of applause for all of you. Good job, guys. Thank you. So, ya les digo que si necesitan de mi ayuda para perfeccionar esa pregunta, díganme, all right? Y, y espero yo que hagamos una interview al final. Les voy a pasar unas preguntas para que traten de hacerla para practicar, ¿ok? So, we will continue then with this review, guys. Uh, let me, no sé si tienen preguntas, sorry, any question, any comment, any feedback, any joke, no jokes. No, no questions. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay. Eh, también me gustó porque estamos compartiendo algunas palabras con algunos de ustedes. Estaba compartiéndole con Ezequiel una palabra de people skill, que es como um, I am sorry, I have people skills. 
Si usted dice, I have people skill, es que usted tiene la habilidad para eh, lidiar ah, con personas. Lidiando con personas. <risas> Ajá, para hablar con ellas. Usted tiene esa habilidad para tratar con personas. Usted dice, I have people skill. People skills, sorry. Eso, eso, guys, que le acabo de decir le va a ayudar mucho. Incluyalo en su, en su, en, en su respuesta. I have people skills, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del área, dependiendo de su trabajo, puede decir eso. Course. Y, mm, let's see. All right. So, guys, now, uh, mm, let's see, page 16. Solamente déjenme revisar esto rapidito. Um, sorry guys no quiero que se me escape algo que quiero que hagamos un review um, no we're good ok guys now let's go ahead and um, do this let's work, let's work in three with three people no sé si me escuchan bien Fíjense que no sé si se me ha desactivado la aplicación que tengo del background noise. ¿Me escuchan bien? Todo bien. Uh, it is because it's ¿Sí? raining a lot, so I don't know if it is disturbing you. No se escucha. La, el no, ruido. yo escucho. Ah, ok. Solo yo soy la que estoy gritando. <risa> a veces uno, eso pasa, right? Ok. So, miren, vamos a hacer groups of three. Uh, we will write down as many words as we learned during this week. And then share your responses with the whole class. Okay? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer este como glosario? Eh, escriban todas las palabras que se acuerden que ha aprendido usted durante esta semana. Y escribe la definición en English. Y le pone qué tipo de palabra es. Si es un verb, si es un adjective, si es un adverb, si es un noun, ok. Miren, lo pueden hacer así, miren. Eh, Dame un segundo. All right. Um, ahorita podemos poner people. Esa es la, mi, mi primera palabra o mi primera vocabulario, digamos, people skills. Um, sorry. That is, sorry for my keyword. Ahorita cambio my keyword. People skill. Y luego le ponen qué es. Le ponen entre paréntesis. That is an adjective. Okay. Adjective. Y luego dice que es. A person who. Um, is good at dealing with people, right? Um, people skill, adjective, a person who is good at dealing with people. Acá tenemos la, el vocabulario, la nueva palabra. Eh, ¿A qué parte de, de lo que es el... Um, I just forget this, I'm sorry. Pero ¿qué, qué, qué es? Es un verbo, es un adverbio, es un adjective. Y luego la definición. All right, so let's do this. Tratan de escribir las que más se recuerdan de, de que ha aprendido esta semana y luego compártalos con su compañero. All right. This is what we're going to be doing. We have 10 minutes to do it. Before going to the breakout rooms, guys, do you have any questions so far? Questions? No questions? I will go through the attendance list. I will go through the attendance list. Voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Mientras hago eso, empecemos a hacer las, las palabras, uh, el new vocabulary. Empecen a hacer el new vocabulary para cuando ya los pase los breaker rooms, empecemos a discutir con su compañero. All right? So, I will go ahead and go through the attendance list. And let's just start working now. Empecen a trabajar ahorita mientras paso la attendance list. Questions? No questions, guys? 
No question. Great. So uh, today is Monday, right? Monday the twenty. Wow. Monday Mondays are the new Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present. Cristian José López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Cristian José López Pérez, I couldn't hear you. Oh. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Me, present teacher. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Yes, Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Merino, sorry. Jonathan Alex, um, Alexis González Torres. Julio César teacher, Merino González. Yes, present. yes, I got it, sorry, Jonathan. Present Julio, present Julio. All right, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lizeth Cuerda de Barriandos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alex, Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Sabrina. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Smith. Present. Sabrina, no le escuchamos. Ah, ok. Uh, let's see. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, guys. Le voy a dar three more minutes for you to uh, write down the words. Yes, yes Sabri. Sorry, if I, uh, I changed the, the dispositivo. No ah, sé okay. si pasó Lisa. Yes. Sabri, ¿no es que se orellana? Acaba de finalizar. Ok, great. Teacher, I am, teacher, I am listening because I am driving now. Thank Sorry. you, Jonathan. No worries. Ok, guys, so... Uh, let's continue making the list. Hagan la listita ahorita, ¿ok? Con sus ideas, hagan la definición. <laughs> ya lo voy a, a pasar al break room. Guys, voy a hacer unas uh, modifications en los breaker rooms ahorita porque lo voy a hacer de tres, ¿ok? Right? Guys, you can click and join, ¿ok? Click and join.
is an adjective. A is a platform that you can use for calculate mathematics problems. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a scale. Como de... Teacher. Yes, Mabel. I don't have my manual. You don't have the manual? No. In the platform, plat platform, it's a, this one. Use this. I can share it with you. I, I will share it. Give me a moment. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead, guys, and start sharing the the words, the ones that you have. See, si Marina finished already, or Ezekiel, you can share the words. You can share three words per per each if you want, but taking advantage of the time. <clears throat> Bye. Ahí se lo mando, Mabel. Ahorita. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's just start practicing, guys. I mean, sharing the words. Empecemos a compartir las palabras que ustedes aprendieron. Yes? Yes. Okay. Y camp. Camp y camp. Is verb. Yes, um, is no, sorry, uh, then, then. Okay. use them. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> In fact, es, de hecho, is una preposición. It's a, it's a preposition, so, I believe. It's a preposition. Only one words. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> I am quite for the word. Oh, to you. Yes, I I looking, I, I share by view. Try to buy. Estoy viendo en todos los apuntes acá. Que había una que era así como, como extraña. Ajá. Pero era de los idioms, era. El anterior, pero bueno, en este, Hope to Idioms, ajá. No, Mayo, Juni. Se me perdí. What year? Science to start have shidder? I don't know. I don't have shidder. <laughs> oh, uh, when you start study in the uni in the U university. Mm -hmm. So we talk what Since means. I study. Cuando oh, hablamos. I study. I start studying in the in the university since. Yes. Oh, since okay. uh, 2000, for example, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I understand. Mm -hmm. oh, cuando hablamos de una fecha en específica, de hecho, teacher, mm -hmm. podemos ser con since, se puede ser bien específico. O sea, hablar de el, el 1 de octubre de 1926, así, a las 3 de la tarde. 
Eso uh -huh. se puede oh. usar siempre, sí. Since. Since, exactly. Because it's an specific uh, point in the past. <coughs> I, I think in Ricardo Rajona. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, hay una canción que dice eso. En el año tal. <laughs> ah. Eran las 3.24, no sé qué. Pero ajá, algo así dice la canción. Ok. Entonces una, una fecha específica en el año. Since. Since. Ok. Ah. I don't know what words. Son así fueron... Sí. Ay, de verdad no se me ocurre. Ay. Fueron muchas palabras. Bueno. <laughs> Or can be an specific uh -oh. application form. Application yeah. form, yes. And when we write the date, position of I four. Name, uh, address, number of phone, and write drive on distance and employment history and education. Ah, that's the, the education degrees, too. Uh, it's a uh, it word job, and you you know is is better job job is better. Uh, ¿Qué es el job? Job. Sí, word job. Trabajo. Yes, word. trabajo. Y y is better or why is Oh, it's, uh, it's a toxic. It's verb. It's verb. No, verb. No, verb is work. Okay. Um. I don't learn um, like <clears throat> I see yeah. I see I see water very warm. I don't learn for their ideas. <laughs> Yeah, fly, fly my ideas, fly. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> for example, um, I see great our opportunity. Opportunity is synonym of the. <laughs> Okay.
Thank you for joining back, guys. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so did you learn new words, guys? Yes, of course. Great, perfect. That was just a review about the new vocabulary that you got, guys, in the in this week. Um, let's see. Very good. Thank you for practicing. Okay. Now, uh, let me continue sharing the screen because we will continue. Well, we will start working on the page seventeen and the eighteen. That's a reading practice. Okay. Go to the page seventeen, please. And this is the page. Okay. Now, do me a favor and start reading. This article, this article is about five requirements of the perfect manager, okay? Those are five requirements of a perfect manager. Let's read it, okay? And while you're reading it, guys, eh, lo voy a interrumpir un momento. Necesito que me ayuden con los, um, con los ejercicios que les aparece erróneos. Y si alguien pudo resolverlo de alguna manera, que no, nos ayudemos entre todos para que podamos entregar ahora las tareas. Eh, algunos de ustedes me reportaron algunos eh, ejercicios de algunas tareas, guys. Les agradezco mucho por reportarlo. De hecho, el día de ahora me reportó uno. Déjenme ver. Eh, Daniel, usted me reportó, eh, ¿qué tarea es esta? Disculpe, no sé si es la cuatro. Es la second one. The second one? La second one, okay. es la segunda del, del listado Ajá. que aparece. Guys, ah, ayúdenme sí, por favor todos sí. con eso, lo voy a reenviar de nuevo. Bueno, no, eh, lo voy a marcar ahorita. Vaya. Eh, También la segunda, tienen, mi teacher. Todos tienen este error. Yeah. No, bueno, solo la cuatro, teacher. Solo Just the cuatro. four in the no, homework two. Ok. I have a problem with the number four and number five of the exercise two. Yo hice the, de la uno a la tres. La cuatro y la cinco no las pude resolver. Me too. I got the five. So you got the five. No problem. Uh, pass the five, please. Give me Luis, copy of the number you, five. No es que nos vaya a dar copia, verdad? <laughs> Sino que eh, <laughs> nada más porque ahora bien, Daniel, si quieres revisemos. Permítame. La número cuatro. No va a dar copia, dice. Solo nos va a decir la respuesta correcta. Yes. yes. Daniel, revisemos la número cuatro. Creo que ahí hay algo. Porque ya lo intent intentamos nosotros. We need help, teacher. We need help. Yes. Okay. Bye. Um, thank you, Marielos, for sharing. We can solve. Ajá. The number four, Daniel. Pero mire, yo veo que Marielos lo puso así. Weekend self will be a great option, ¿verdad? Así como lo habíamos hecho. A training sí. could be... Permítame. Voy a revisar Pero algo rapidito. Y eh, entonces, Luis, ayúdenos, por favor. Ayúdenos ahí. Tal vez hay un error, ya lo intentaron quitar el, el period, ponérselo y aún así. Voy a, a dejar de compartir rapidito. Bueno, la sí. A mi lado sí me salió bien, teacher. Ahí les puse. Thank you, guys. Ya vamos a ver los otros ejercicios, pero vamos a ver estos. Thank you, Fátima. No, yo no encontré. Ah, no encontré. Ok. Vaya, vale, revisa lo que mandó Fátima. Ok, I will uh, check, I will check. But uh, let me see. 
Ajá, yes. De acuerdo al ejercicio que hicimos en clases, sí está bien como Fátima lo puso. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Working less hours would be uh, another benefit. Ajá. Uh -huh. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Ajá, uh -huh. eso lo hicimos. We can sí. talk. Sí, pero, would be a good no, 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 y ya intentaron weekend song would be a good option to have happy employees con punto y no punto. Yes, teacher, con punto, sin punto, sin capital letter. Pero Luis, usted dijo que lo había, que usted lo tenía todo bien, ¿no? No, solo la cinco, sí, la cuatro no es la única que la no le da bien. La ¿quién, cuatro, ¿quién la tiene bien, Gary? La cuatro. Teacher, la cuatro siempre da problema. Siempre da problema. Teacher, 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 a mí la dos y la cuatro sí, son las que Ajá, sí, la no me funcionan. No no Vaya, creo que, case, que la was, mayoría tenemos sí, problemas sí, con sí. algunas, pero ya nuestros compañeros nos están ayudando a mandarlo de esa manera, a ver si ya funciona así. Ajá, exacto, mándenlo así como Fátima lo mandó y copien y péguenlo a ver si le funciona. Pero eh, me, creo que la cuatro nadie la ha podido resolver, ¿verdad? No. no. ¿Y la sí? No, teacher. Y la. And the number five, too. Number five. Ahorita. Miren, se la voy a mandar Luis. acá. Esa es la cinco. Porque realmente es la, la tarea cinco. que resolvimos. Perdón, el ejercicio que resolvimos oh, en sí. clase. Uh, las cinco, las cinco marieros la tiene wow. buena. Oh. Acabo de compartir. Las cinco en el chat. Las cinco en el yo chat. la puse de esa manera y no salió mala. Sorry, en el chat que les de acá del, del de este uh, en reunión revísenlo, copienlo y péguenlo a ver si le funciona. Ready. Luis. A ver si le funciona. Si employees no. o happy staff. ¿Hm? Re, ya vieron el, el ah, chat teacher. de acá Zoom. Teacher, la cuatro no es staff, es employees. Department. Department. Mm. La cuatro, entonces solamente oh. cámbiala por esa, vamos a ver. Así sí me agarro. ¿Cómo? We can have will be... A good option to have happy employees. Y en la tarea dice happy staff. De verdad. Vaya, sí. mire. Uh, we could do it. Thank you, Luis. Ay, sí, si agarro la cuatro. <risa> Compartila, okay. Luis. Entonces, ahí ya la el, compartió, En el Luis. chat de WhatsApp ya lo puse. <risa> ¿Cuál es la de María? La de María. La de María es la cinco. Y la de Weekend Up es la 4. Weekend Up. Ah, Weekend Up. Ok. Pongan atención, guys, ahorita, porque ahorita estamos haciendo. Vamos a ver. Lo voy a compartir en el grupo de maestros para que lo tengan en cuenta, guys, porque. Um, vamos a ver. Ya lo puse otra vez. Because it's not possible. Esta. Esta es la ese es el ejercicio número, la tarea 4. Eh, homework 2. Homework 2. Can you repeat the, 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 um, the, the answer? Ya lo compartió Luis, es la última que compartió. En el chat de WhatsApp. El número 5 me sale igual. París. Uh, Ahí lo mandó always, que es en No sé si me alcanzar o le podemos dar de este color. Ya la, ya la revisé. Y no tenemos. María. La María. Mira, yo solo tengo María. Ahora vamos. I will recheck. Mañana te voy a hacer la otra mano. To have. 
to have happy employees. Tarea 2, ejercicio número 4, right? Thank you, Ezequiel. We can hold a good option as in a thing to have. Pero a Luis sí le, le marcó como buena. Sí, sí teacher, ahí mandé la captura. Ya me, ya, ya me salió correcta la de la María. La captura es que solamente te da una parte, pero ya lo de lo de lo que sigue ya no se ve. Por ejemplo, en la Son dos, los que escribí, Marcos. Uh -huh. Son los que escribiste. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí está Entonces, la dos, la dos. cinco y la cuatro. Sí, sí es que verifiquen el ejemplo que dio el, el compañero, guys. ese sería. Lo vamos a doble chequear, teacher, please, pero, please. Pero, pero, pero pero vamos teacher, a organizar por ejemplo, está bien. Por ejemplo, la cuatro para que salga bien hay que poner una palabra que no está dentro de la. Exacto, y ya lo, co ya lo corregí, uh, sorry, ya, ya lo reporté, ahorita estoy hablando y me comentaron de que ya están verificando, porque no debería de ser así, right? Vaya, ya Luis lo compartió, guys. Eh, otro, otra tarea en la cual tienen, tengan inconveniente. Hoy sí, teacher. No, it's the only one. It's the only one. Okay, ayúdenme, please, a hacer este reading. Entonces, let's have the reading. Empecemos a leer este reading y luego vamos a contestar unas. Unas statements, ok? Please. Let's just start having this reading, guys. We have, uh, let's see, five minutes to read it. Five minutes to read it, guys. Y carito lo que tiene que hacer.
Guys, are you reading it? Todos estamos leyendo? Yes, teacher. Great. Me avisan whenever you are uh you read this. You read you have read this so I can scroll down, okay? Teacher, hasta qué tarea tenemos que hacer hoy? 5. Ah, okay.
You finished, guys? Did you finish? Yes? Great. All right. So, um, the Ezekiel, you was asking what is the meaning of people person? People person means the same as saying I have people skills. Whenever you love interacting with people, when you enjoy and you are good interacting with people, it's the same. It's the other way oh. of saying people skills. Mm -hmm. Interesante, gracias. You're welcome. <clears throat> Sorry. I found a word as well that I really like it, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, it's pontificating. Did you see that? The pontificating one? No? Do you know the meaning of pontificating? Pontificating. No? Mesurar o algo así. Sorry? Mesurar o algo así. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. it is... No, Perdón. Don't worry. I, I was looking and I was looking to the Spanish word because I didn't know it. And Spanish is like pontificado or pontificar or pontificando. So pontificando or pontifying is pontificating, sorry, is whenever uh, you express one's opinion in a way considered annoying, pompous, and dogmatic. Cuando una persona expresa la opinión, pero es considerada como un poquito molesta porque lo hace muy pomposo o está hablando mucho de dogmas. O sea, mucho se rebusca y pues al final no, no se escucha bien su opinión. Demasiado tecnicismo. Uh -huh. Más o menos así como pontificating. Eso es pontificating. Any other question about new vocabulary, guys? Preguntas acerca del vocabulario? Comments? No? No comments? This is a verb or a, a, or adjective? Which one? Pontificating? Pontificating. Fíjese que ahí a uh, Marcos, instead of pontificating, está haciendo, eh, está, está actuando como verbo, con ING, en vez de uh -huh. pontificar. Instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Ahí está actuando como verbo. Esa palabra. Any other question, guys? Teacher, y clean con... Clean con... No, I don't remember English. this one. <laughs> I know that reference. <laughs> In the first paragraph. It's it's a language to Star Wars. Star Trek. I, I, no, Star, Star Trek. Trek. The Klingon. Yes. Klingon. <laughs> I think it's that. Ajá, uh -huh. I believe it's like that. Creo que sí es como es. Star Trek. Porque yo, I haven't seen Wars. those movies. Son los militares, los, los guerreros, ¿verdad? De un planeta de guerreros. Cinco. Thank you for clarifying, because I don't know. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I haven't watched that those movies, so I don't I don't get it. But I know that it's something difficult to understand better than English. Teacher, Star Trek, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Any other word? I don't know about this. No, no words, no new words. Okay, guys. Um. Not I just so, want to so make sure not, who's north south. Ah? North south. North south, no sé qué. The name of the company. Ah, uh -huh. it's the name of the company. Um, sorry que los interrumpa Jaime Antonio. Se se puede quedar conmigo ahora en el 101. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, guys, so um, we have some words here. Sorry, some exercises. Are this statement true or false? Antes de contestar eso, bueno, empiecen a hacer ahorita, a analizarlo. Y les voy a pasar las preguntas que le dije de los del interview. Traten de contestarlas ustedes, guys. 
y mañana antes de empezar un nuevo topic vamos a hacer una interview completa because of the time we don't have time to do it right now uh, pero le voy a pasar esa interview como toda la interview uh, traten de contestarla si ustedes pueden si ustedes pueden guys I know you're busy you need to work and all of this I know pero eh, le voy a pasar un link guys de creo que um, déjenme ver ese link es cómo ustedes pueden contestar estas preguntas que yo les voy a mandar yo creo, I believe so pero uh, les voy a mandar las preguntas para que ustedes las tengan y cómo pueden contestarlas en el link pero mañana vamos a practicar, ok con su clase Oh, sí, es How to answer 14 most common interview questions. Vale, voy a pasar el link ahorita. Revisen, no guys. Take advantage of it. Ok, tomen ventaja de eso que les estoy mandando. Léanlo. Y les voy a mandar las preguntas, ok. Para que mañana las mismas preguntas que les voy a mandar las vamos a hacer en la práctica. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? With your classmate. Vamos a hacer una interview. Real interview. Y vamos a hacer esas preguntas. So, ahí está la manera como lo puede contestar también. Trate de hacerlo your own way. Eh, si quiere hacerlo mañana, mañana podemos hacerlo impro improvising. No worries. Porque no los quiero cargar. Ok, de, de mucho trabajo. I know you're, you're, sometimes you don't have time. So, that's why we don't leave too much homework assignments like that. Pero eso es para que usted lo tenga con usted y le ayude, ¿ok? Es extra de mí para usted. De yo para tú. De yo para tú. Ok, ahí se lo voy a mandar, no me hagan caso. Um, how to answer 14 common questions. Interview lo voy a poner. Y le voy a poner interview questions para que mañana las hagamos. Guys, empecemos a contestar, please. If it is true or false. Y ya le voy preguntando. Ok, there you have the 14 questions. <clears throat> Sorry, tell me about, tell me something about yourself. How did you hear about this position? Why did you decide to apply for this position? Etc. All right. You have them there. And um, I will go through the attendance list, guys, really quick. Ángel Estefania Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present, teacher. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Merino González. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amílcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Lisset Carmen Hernández Present. Smith. Present. En Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Great. Thank you. Okay, so guys, are this statement true or false based on this reading? Um, let's see. Osvin, could you please read the number one? Marcos Antonio, number two. Okay. It is more important to manage system than people. Is that true or false, guys? False. False, right? Very good. Okay, Marcos Antonio, number two. 
to be a to be a great co com communicator 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 on show use as many balls as uh, possible one should one should use one should use as ma as many balls uh, tools possible. as possible very good possible. guys is that true or false i think it's true True. Maybe true. 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 Sure. Yeah. The they means the the tools. The tools about. Let's read it. Ah, presentations. Be a good communicators. Visual presentation, public speaking, emails. So is it true or false? It's true. True. Okay. Uh, okay, what about number three? Lisette, could you please read it? Yeah. Okay, uh, number three. Mm -hmm. In order to be technically professing, giving one's opinion, opinion is known. Proficient. Uh, Very good. True or false, guys? Five things false. False. Guys, false? Oh. Four? What about number four? Um, Daniel, could you please read it, Daniel? And Fatima, number five. Okay. Encouraging, encouraging, encouraging. Teamwork. Sorry, encouraging. encouraging. There you go. Encouraging. Teamwork is an important as being part of the team. Okay, True. very good. True, guys. True. True. Okay, perfect. True. Uh, Fatima, number five, could you please read it for me or for us? Um, if you are a man, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. Okay, is that true or false, guys? False. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good, guys. Any questions about this? Guys, before you go. At the number three, I don't understand giving ones. As giving uno, ones as um, dar una. la opinión de uno. Dar la opinión de uno, si es translated. Like giving the ones first opinion. One. Giving one's opinion once es como que dar la opinión de uno. De uno, once. Ah, no es dar una opinión, teacher. Dar la opinión. Giving our opinion, no, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. There you go. Um, I just want to reconfirm. False, true, false, true, false. There you go. Okay, guys. So, any other questions so far before we go? No questions? So feel free to go. See you tomorrow, guys. And um, if you have any other question about the exercises, let me know. Please do me a favor and complete everything by today before midnight, because I will send the homework assignments tomorrow in the morning, okay?
Teacher, ¿está bien? Sorry. Son hasta las cinco. Five, ajá. Uh -huh. From one to five. No es que lo Thanks. vamos a terminar todas hoy. Yes. Bueno, se supone que lo vamos a terminar antes, ¿eh? <ríe> O sea, <coughs> sorry, eh, cada día hay que hacerla, guys, para que no se, no se atrasen. Y yo sé que tenían ese problemita ahí con la dos, sorry. Pero, <coughs> ajá, para ahora las cinco. Ah, ok. Entonces okay. mañana voy a hacer las seis, teacher. Ya tengo sueño. Great, ok. Oh. <risa> Good job, Marcos. Good okay. closing. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Take Good care. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Teacher, have a good night. Take have a good night. Oh, we finished. Ya lo pasé. Fin finished already. We are dealing with two. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> Take care, guys. Hello, Jaime. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I, I feel so sleep, but I feel good because oh, I we finish the year, the school years tomorrow. Tomorrow we finish. Really? Yes. And uh, we have a vacation time. Really? And how long do you have vacation for? Um, maybe for 25. 25 days? Oh, until 25, you one week. No, I have one month. <gasps> one month for, I wish I have for one rest. month of vacation. <laughs> well, great the, to know the, and I hope you enjoy it. The rest, the sign is uh, the company pay this month. Really? Uh, yes. They, um, like we, we work this month. Okay, but you, you're, you, you got paid for that, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. I hope you enjoy it. So today you finish? And tomorrow, no, tomorrow you start. Oh, tomorrow. No, tomorrow okay. Tomorrow we finish. Uh, we we give the degree. No, not the school of the Ah, your grades. Uh, gray sheets. Gray sheets. Gray sheets. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we give the gray sheets, and uh, we have a uh, a lunch. <laughs> really? Wow. Yes. So tomorrow they will leave early. Yes. <gasps> and they get a month of vacations. Yes. No, um, I, I can uh, wake up. Wake up. Uh, late. Late, yes. At 12. <laughs> no, no, right? I can't teacher. I don't, I don't know what, but I can't uh, wake up late. I, I, every day I wake up uh, early. Your body get accustomed to that. Yes. I, I wake up early every day. And whenever it's um, Saturday, which is my day off, I wake up at the latest I can wake up, it's at 8 a.m. And previously I got another job in which I, I, I didn't get up early. I got up very late because I, I got a chief at night. So um, I remember I woke up at, 10, 11, because of that, because I, my body got accustomed to that. But right now that I am working in the morning, well, also at night, but in the morning as well, I wake up very late. I mean, very early, like at eight in my day off. And I would like to wake up very late, but I can't. 
So it is because of your body get accustomed to that. But Jaime, let's try to do it. Let's try to wake up late a little bit. Just because you need to get rest, get more rest, right? If you can, of course. But nice to know that you will you will rest in uh, for a for a month, which yes. is awesome. But I, I today yeah, I go to relaxing. Mm. But I forget the we have a class. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and then whenever you come back, it's gonna be difficult for you, right? Yes. Oh my god, yes, that happens. Not today. I I, I think I uh go to sleep early, but uh -huh. I remember I have a class <laughs> tomorrow, but it's the last one, almost the last no, well, yes, the last is class today. Ah, yes, I, I got your point. Really, yes, I know. But, but I remember that time. But at least we will finish before ending the, the month. I mean, you will still have one more week, I believe, one more week of, of vacations of this class as well. So you will have an entire week just for vacation. No classes, no English classes, right? Like a week, uh, something like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we have a I was week. Yes, and you will have another one. Yes, but yes. I mean, like, because right now you're in vacations, but you don't feel like it is complete vacation because you have you're having English classes, right? So since we have started one week ago. And tomorrow is gonna be the the vacations starting. Then you will have one week without anything, without English classes yeah. and without your classes. So it's gonna be yes. awesome. Yes. This week I I I I see the movies. <laughs> you will watch the movies. Yes. <laughs> watch. So Jaime, I would like to know how do you feel in the scores. If there is a feedback, any comment, anything that is uh, difficult for you right now, tell me so that I can help you. Okay. Um, in this course, I, uh, I feel good, but I, uh, I feel Siento que lo que, lo que me está como costando un poquito son uh -huh. eh, el uso del full B y el full B en esta modalidad. Que ya no oh. es tan como lo vimos en el curso pasado. Uh -huh. Pero también porque yo no, he, no, no me he puesto como a... A ver la diferencia. Ah, no, o sea, realmente por, por lo mismo que estamos terminando el año escolar. Y, o sea, realmente trabajo no hemos tenido como ya la clase y todo eso, pero sí estamos como sacando a los chicos que están con, con ustedes la materia, sacando informes que necesitan una cosa, que necesitan otra. Entonces, esas pequeñas cositas me han como desorientado un poquito y no, no me he concentrado realmente en las clases. Así mm, que lo que he ido capturando es, es bastante poco, pero... Eh, Creo que sí, ya en estos días eh, no voy a tener efectivamente actividad en nada de clases, de, de trabajo, sino voy a tener un poquito como más, más días. ¿no? Pero sí, este sentido que el curso está bastante más interactivo, se puede decir, porque los, los bueno, el cuarto módulo hacia atrás era como bastante poca la participación y eso es que es más interacción, más efectivo. Yes. I feel I I try to speak more English. <laughs> and it's better. Um because you have learned more, 
ya que usted ha aprendido más, se siente como más tranquilo participando, ¿verdad? Es porque hemos yes. estado teniendo prácticas, ¿sí? sí, tal vez ahorita de una vez, ok, vamos a hablar de esto y esto, si hubiera sentido como que raro, ay, me ha asustado, ¿verdad? Pero como hemos yes. estado practicando, poco a poco, ya usted se siente súper bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, qué bueno, Jaime. Pero fíjese que quisiera nada más hacerle rapidito un review antes que se vaya para más o menos darle la ideita del, um, del would be y el could be. Anteriormente, Jaime, nosotros estábamos viendo el would y el could solamente. O sea, no tenía el, el be, ¿verdad? Ajá, no tenía esto, el be no lo tenía. Entonces dijimos que el would... O vimos el would, o oh, si sí, lo vimos, pero junto con would you oh, like to. Sure. Ajá, pero no solo. Entonces lo vimos, el, acuérdese que a veces hay eh, ciertos verbos que se repiten en algunas estructuras, como por ejemplo el was, ¿verdad? El was es nada más como verbo tu bien pasado, es una. Y si yo lo ocupo en presente con pasado continuous, por ejemplo, he was working, también se vuelve a repetir. Entonces, el would es uno de esos casos, que acá es otra estructura, pero siempre se utiliza ese mismo verbo con diferente función. Entonces, también el could, usted solamente lo había visto anterior como pasado de quién, o como un, un eh, moral verb que usted utiliza para hacer un request, digamos. Como por ejemplo, could you bring me a cup of coffee? ¿Sí? Entonces uh -huh. ahí se está utilizando como un modal, ¿verdad? Como un moral, que es más polite o más educado que decir, can I have a cup of coffee? O can you bring me a cup of coffee? Entonces el could es más formal, pero ahí se ocupa como modal. Uh -huh. Y el would lo estábamos ocupando como would you mind, ¿se acuerda? El would you mind bringing me a cup of coffee o lo decíamos como would you like to bring me a cup of coffee. Entonces ahora este uso es más diferente porque el would be y el could be se unen con el verbo to be para nosotros expresar una impresión de posibilidad de, en un futuro. Algo que no es, no, o sea, que no es, no es 100% posible, pero puede que pase en un futuro. Como por ejemplo, it would be a great asset, ¿verdad? Va a ser un buen activo, ¿verdad? It could be a great help in the sales department. Puede, eh, yo puedo ser de gran ayuda en el departamento de ventas. Entonces, ese es como... Yo sería o yo podría ser. Ajá, entonces, ahora bien, la diferencia, yo la veo, no está acá, pero la, la diferencia es que si usted dice could be, es como podría, ¿verdad? Yo podría ser y el would be, yo sería. Entonces, para mí, si usted lo quiere ver, alguna diferencia, es más posible. El would be, si usted dice would be, es porque usted quiere expresar que es más posible. Es como que usted diga, I would be the best teacher if my kids was a school. Usted ya se va más, más, lo dice más empoderado, pues. Como más posibilidad, usted lo quiere, tiene más ganas de hacerlo. Pero si usted dice, I could be the best teacher, usted está diciendo como que yo podría ser, ¿verdad? Entonces yo siento que hay más posibilidad. Si usted quiere determinar más una posibilidad, ocupe el would be. Pero si menos posibilidad, el could be. Pero es más que todo es, el, con, el, con el verb to be se utiliza para posibilidad en un futuro. Ok, ya, sí me queda más claro. No, no lo había entendido como eso, sino como, como el could y el could y el could que vimos anteriormente. Ajá, no, exacto. Me quedaba así con, con, esa, con esa duda, pero sí me quedó bastante claro. Bueno, Jaime, qué bueno que pude aclarar su duda y siempre que tenga un, una duda como esta, mándeme un mensaje en WhatsApp y dígame o moléstame o en la clase, uh -huh. teacher, vuelva a repetirlo, ¿verdad? Como en los reviews que hacemos el final de semana, eh, yo no pude hacer un review como este ahorita de este tema, sí, creo que fallamos ahí, 
No estaba en el lesson plan, pero pude traer extra. Um, pero mañana voy a ver si hago un review, aunque ya te, hayamos terminado las tareas, pero vamos a ver si hacemos un review nada más para reforzar eso. Y eh, Jaime, no sé si hay algo más en lo cual yo le podría ayudar. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, un comentario? No, yo creo que esa era mi duda por el momento y gracias por aclararlo. Y pues ya a partir de mañana le damos como se me va a ganar esta día porque no va a estar con la atención del trabajo. Ay, sí, qué bueno que vas a estar descansando. Duerma todo el día si puede. No, yo sé que a veces hay muchas responsabilidades, pero trate de hacer un tiempo para descansar. Aunque sea una tarde, pues toda la tarde durmiendo. <ríe> Pero bueno, no, espero bueno. que descanse, Jaime, y muchas gracias por su tiempo y espero que tenga unas excelentes vacaciones, ¿ok? Sí, gracias, bueno, que pase una excelente noche. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.